Hi, I'm Amanda Su, Director of Technology at SAR. Today I'm going to show you how to update your company and profile information in Zipform. Have you ever opened up one of your contracts or maybe a buyer advisory? And as you're scrolling down, you'll notice at the very bottom, it has some information here. You can see on mine, it has Walt Disney Realty, 123 Main Street in Anaheim. It has my name, a phone, a fax number. You'll notice that on all of your contracts, this information is down here as well whenever you do your contracts in zip form. Now, if you recently changed companies or maybe for whatever reason, your information down here may sometimes be inaccurate. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily change that yourself. So right now, I am in zip form 6 standard, the downloaded version of zip form. This will look a little bit similar to Zipform Professional as well, but I will show you all three versions. So in Zipform 6 Standard, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the top up here and I'm going to click on Tools. And then I'm going to click on the icon that looks like Gears that says Options. And when I click on that, it's going to bring up a dialog box and I'll notice there's four tabs up here, Account, Preferences, eSign, and the last one is the one that we want. It says Company Information. So if I click on that, you'll see my agent first name, my last name, address, city, state, phone, fax, email address, and company name. So if I am now with Mickey Mouse Realty and I have a different address, maybe a different phone number or I want to add in my fax number I can change all of that information and just click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to close the transaction that I'm in. I'm going to close out a zip form, open it back up and now when I go to open up any one of my forms, you will see that my information has now been updated. Up here at the top and down here at the bottom. Now on Zipform Professional or zipformonline.com, the process is just a little bit different. From the home page, I'm actually going to click on this tab up here that says My Profile. And right from this main page, you see some of those same columns where I'll be able to change my information. So right down here, I can change my company name, address, city, state, etc. And you can see this is already updated with the changes I just made on Zipform 6 Standard. So it does sync between Zipform 6 Professional um, or Zipform 6 Standard, or if you're using Zipform Plus, those all sync together. But if you don't have Zipform 6 Standard, this is how you will change it on Zipform Professional. Now, some of you may have switched over already to Zipform Plus, which is the newest version of Zipform. You access it just through a web browser like you do zipformonline.com, um, but it's zipformplus.com. So this is the front page of Zipform Plus. To change our company information, it's just a little bit different. Up here on the top right, you see my name and my picture. If I click on my name, I have an option where I can select profile. And if I just scroll down a little ways, the main difference is I'm just going to see here my address information. And again, this is synced with Zipform 6 Standard and Zipform Online, Zipform Professional. Um, if I wanted to change this using Zipform Plus, all I would have to do is just click on this and it'll actually pop up in a new pop-up window right here. And then I can easily change anything I want to and click Save. And again, that will sync with the other versions of Zipform as well. 